I made an interactive processing sketch that allows you to visualize the addition of sine waves. I call it Sum Sum Signs. You can make cool patterns like beats, a sink, a square wave, a triangle wave, random patterns, patterns that move, and much more. Here's how it works. There are sliders that control the amplitude, the phase, and frequency of the individual sine waves. When you click on a sine wave, it falls down in stacks on top of the sine wave beneath it. When they are all dropped, the top of the curve represents the sum of the signs. You can also raise the signs back up and watch them drop again. Using these global sliders, you can adjust the amplitude, phase, and frequency of all the sine waves simultaneously. You can adjust the number of sine waves here and the number of samples in each sine wave. Right next to those sliders, you can adjust how the sine waves are drawn as filled rectangles, strokes, or lines. Over here, you can adjust speed that the signs fall, either fast or slow. You can turn on tooltips for when you hover over a button or slider. You can even turn the lights off. You can adjust the color of the signs with these sliders. Use the second set of sliders to create color gradients. You can also make the sine waves move. You can make the frequencies change, the phases shift, and the amplitudes oscillate. And when they drop down, they make some cool looking patterns. Even the colors change. Right here in the top is a tutorial that goes step by step through all of these features. Now here's the best part. Set the signs to a large number, like 30, then hit spacebar for random shapes and colors. It's really fun to stare at. You can play with some some signs in your web browser at stevecrayons.com. Now this JavaScript version runs a bit slow, so for the best performance, you can download an executable for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Have fun! Thank you.